Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of our channel Love Point and this is me Preeti Elizabeth Jenison here. Do you know what are our rights and the eventuality of an arrest by the police in a criminal case? We have Supreme Court of India's advocate on record Mrs. Prasina Elizabeth Joseph to explain the procedures to be followed compulsorily by the police before an arrest. Police officer can arrest a person depending on whether the offence is cognizable or non-cognizable offence. Non-cognizable offence means which is less serious offence or it is a bailable offence where the maximum period of sentence provided for that offence is 2 years or 3 years imprisonment or with fine or with both like those offences. In those kind of offences the police officer compulsorily require permission from the magistrate to arrest a person. That permission is called warrant. However, if the offence is serious and non-bailable, then that is cognizable in nature and police officer does not require warrant or permission from the magistrate to arrest a person. Some cognizable offences where police officer does not require warrant to arrest a person are as follows. When a person commits a cognizable offence in the presence of a police officer or if the police is informed that a person has committed a cognizable offence like murder, rape, etc. A person who is proclaimed as an offender by the court or by the state government then if that person is found anywhere then the police can arrest that person without the permission of the magistrate. If a person is found to be in possession of stolen property or if a person obstructs a police officer in execution of his duty or if a person has escaped from the custody or if a person has committed a criminal offence outside India which if he had done in India would have been a punishable offence. For example, a person is doing drug business outside India which if he had done in India would have been a punishable offence. Then that person can also be arrested without the permission of the magistrate. Then, if a person has left armed forces without the permission of the authority, then if he is found anywhere, he can also be arrested without the permission of the magistrate. Now, let's see why the police officer arrests a person even before he is held guilty by a court of law. This is basically for the following reasons. To properly question the person and to investigate the offence, to prevent that person from committing any further offence, to prevent him from influencing the witness or tampering with evidence, to ensure that he does not abscond and he can be produced in the court at the time of his trial. Now let's see the code of conduct to be followed by a police officer while arresting a person. The police officer should be in police uniform with his name and designation clear and visible to the person concerned. The police officer can arrest a person by either touching him or by handcuffing him up to his discretion. However, if a person attempt to evade arrest, then the police can use force to arrest that person. Once the police officer arrest a person, then the police need to prepare a memo of arrest mentioning the arrested person's name, date, time and reason of arrest. The said memo need to be countersigned by the arrested person and also by a witness. The witness can be either a family member of the arrested person or a respectable member of the locality where the person is arrested. The police officer can search the arrested person and place in safe custody all articles other than the necessary wearing apparel found upon the arrested person and a receipt showing all articles taken in possession by the police shall be given to the arrested person. If memo of arrest is countersigned only by the respectable member of the locality and the arrested person's friend or relative is not aware of the arrest, then the police officer need to inform the friend or relative of the arrested person about the arrest within 8 to 12 hours of the arrest. In case where a woman need to be arrested, then the police officer need to be a woman and women can be arrested only after sunrise and before sunset. If the woman may abscond and arrest need to be done before sunrise or after sunset, then the police need to take 
prior permission from the judicial magistrate. Further, a woman can be searched only by a lady police officer or by a lady medical practitioner. Finally, within 24 hours of arrest of the arrested person, the police officer need to present the arrested person before the nearest judicial magistrate. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our video. Stay tuned for more videos.